Dominic and I are in the middle of a conversation, Sonny. Yeah, this won't take long. All right. Um, well, perhaps if you're planning to discuss illegal activities, maybe I should call a cop, huh? I thought we were supposed to get along. Jack's because of Carly and the whole thing. Would you rather have this conversation with me, or would you rather talk to Sonny, Dominic? Hey, here's a bouquet. Don't toss it to me unless you want it to hit the ground. Uh, can't you talk her out of this? I'm not one to stand in the way of true love. Kate called. Oh, don't tell me she's going to try to stop the wedding. No, she said moving the deadlines is no problem, and she wishes you well. <laughs> is there an unfriendly vibe going on in here? Is it, is it just the drugs went off? I hope that you'll seriously consider my offer, Dominic. I think it might be the safest place for you with everything that's going on. Plus, Morgan's really looking forward to it. I will get back to you. Sooner the better. So I heard Morgan wants you to live with him. Now, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't want you to live with the kids and Carly, you know, and all that. First of all, you're not ready to guard people. It's too dangerous. That's good. I, I, I'm, I'm fine at Kelly's. The food's good. There's lots of people there. I'm close to the hospital if anything goes wrong. Okay, good. but after saving my son's life, I don't think I want you recuperating at, at a room at Kelly's. So, why don't you go ahead and just stay at my house? You know, I'm, I'm a terrible house guest. I, I talk too much, I like loud music, I, 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 I'm hyper, you know, and, and I'm, I'm gonna need a lot of really good food. I mean, after all this hospital slop, I'm gonna drive you nuts, man. They have a big house and make sure you're taken care of. That's reassuring. You know why I want you under my roof? So I keep an eye on you. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I'm safer here in the hospital. No, I doubt that. You see, that's why I want you close. You may have been a target as far as what happened in the warehouse, but see, Anthony, he doesn't think things through. He could never have imagined that Johnny was going to take your place. Then why would Anthony Zakar go after me? Because he wants, to, he wants to make an example of what happens when people switch sides. But since he's failed, He's going to come at you stronger now. And since my little boy is alive because of you, I feel it's, it's, it's my duty to keep you safe. Well, I appreciate that. I want to have the car come around and pick you up, okay? Tell us with this, didn't you? Detective Falconeri. Let's get this show on the road. Why is everyone sitting around? Where's the damn priest? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> okay, we're finished here. Damien Spinelli, you are under arrest. You might want to consider keeping that in a safer place. How did you know? I didn't. I took an educated guess. You just confirmed it. <sighs> Damn, it's like the oldest trick in the book. Pretend you know and let the suspect fill in the blanks. Yeah, a little off your game. No wonder your mother's so worried about you. You know a lot. Yes. <sighs> what? Can you convince her to leave town or something? Fire her? I don't care. <laughs> I don't think so. You know your mother. She, uh, she does what she pleases, plus she's an excellent operations manager. I mean, I would never let her go. Do you understand the kind of danger she's in if anyone finds out about well, this? Well, you're the one that came into town. So the sooner you get Sonny off the street, the better it will be. Wait a minute, you want me to bust Sonny? I want him to go to prison for the rest of his life. Any particular reason? A whole bunch of reasons. But mainly because my family will be safer with him there. So I will help you any way I can. Make your case against Sonny. I am not going to allow Maxie to get married by whatever this is. He's a Buddhist monk, sir. Buddhism is essentially a path to salvation attained through insight into the ultimate nature of reality. It often involves vegetarianism, chanting, and a peaceful resolution to all conflict. Well put, my child. I am looking for the garden room. Oh, um, that's 
the room that we made memorable last night? Oh, right. <laughs> Down the hall on the left. Ah. Uh, and I wish you two lasting peace and happiness. Namaste. Namaste. Stop saying that. Would you cut it out? Why am I the only one upset about this? Jason, you're the reason Spinelli is here. Can't you stop him? Isn't the priest supposed to be here? Yeah, I'm Spinelli? Sure, I'm sure he's just a few minutes tardy, that's all. Maybe he got the dates mixed up and we're gonna have to postpone. Never. Nothing will stop us from proceeding with our boundless life. Uh, oh, no, no. No priest, no rehearsal, no rehearsal, no wedding. That's it, everyone. Pack it up, folks. The wedding's off. It's all been a big misunderstanding. I'm sure, the most, the, I'm sure the most reverend Father Coates would not miss such a, a momentous occasion. It's over, Spinelli. Everybody go home. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I took a wrong turn at the first set of French doors. But I ran into the most fascinating Buddhist monk who said something about chanting for peace and understanding in this room. <laughs> Don't talk to me about chanting. He was offering to chant on your behalf. A very kind and generous offer, I think. Yeah, and he reminded me that love is the most powerful force in the universe and that it can bring us all together no matter how far apart we may seem. If anyone finds out I'm a cop, my mother and I will both be dead. Do you understand that? Then I better not find out. And you have no reservations whatsoever about what I'm gonna do to Sonny? One. Morgan, he likes you. Concerned what it's gonna do to him when you bring his father down. Look, I hate the idea of hurting that kid. But when I take his father down, maybe he'll realize that no one is above the law. Not even Sonny Quintos. And it's a valuable lesson, and one that might hurt him, but it might also save Morgan's life in the end. Living in Sonny's house will give you access to evidence. So you better work fast before anyone else figures out who you are. back out just say the word if you keep this up i'm going to start screaming and never ever stop for the rest of my life is there a problem no we're fine great see i knew you could do it come on all right once i uh, have you all here i will do the traditional invocation and then you could say your vows would you like to practice them um i think i'll wait I think I'll wait as well. And we'll start with the readings. Should we practice them now? Yeah, you know, I think we'd prefer to hear them fresh upon the morrow. Is that English you just said? Uh, all right, well, uh, that's fine. And now, let's see. Uh, yes, I will pronounce you man and wife, and then you may kiss the bride. Yes, indeed. <sighs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. uh, stop with the kissing. Uh, then I'll introduce you to the crowd. You'll turn around and walk down the aisle. Then my work here is finished. That may be one of the easiest rehearsals I've ever done. Mm -hmm. Let's hope the ceremony goes as smoothly. Right. Oh, actually, can I... I need to talk to you right now. Yeah. Miss Falconeri. It's Dominic Pirelli calling you. I just wanted to thank you for your concern for me while I was in the hospital. I've just been released and uh, I'll be well looked after. So you going back to Kelly's? Actually, no. I'll be staying with the boss. It looks like we're uh, coming up Mr. Grinto's uh, driveway right now. Um, okay, thank you for letting me know. Sure thing, anytime. I want you the hell out of my house. Wow, is, is that any way to greet a wounded man? Don't get cute with me. Uh, why are you so hostile? Are you still afraid I'll tell Sonny you hired me to take out Jason Don't in the ambush. Don't threaten me, Dominic. I might feel the need to defend myself. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. I was just making our guests feel welcome. <laughs> 